Well, new at 11, everyone, a former officer with the Detroit Public Schools Community District has filed a $1 million lawsuit against the district and members of its police department. The lawsuit accuses them of sexual harassment and retaliation. CBS News Detroit's Luke Laster is in Southfield with more on the lawsuit. It was humiliating. It was uh, demeaning. Now, former Detroit Public Schools Community District Officer Kelly Mays recalls what she says are the uncomfortable memories of comments she says were said to her at her former place of employment. Mays and her lawyer allege harassment from the district's former chief, Ronald Johnson, for making sexually offensive remarks and inferring that she was sexually involved with male members of the department. Uh, first inc incident, he said, um, he asked me, was I putting it on him? He saw flowers at my desk and I told him, uh, flowers were for me and he said um, hey Kelly was putting on putting it on these guys. Mays recalled other incidents of alleged comments of similar nature. She says she was with the department for 12 years and has been in law enforcement for 17 total. I like that sexual harassment to be addressed so people don't have to not only women people don't have to ex experience this in the workplace. People need to be held accountable for their actions and let them know that this is not it's not tolerated and it won't it won't be tolerated. You'll face you'll face some kind of consequences for those actions. May says she has reached out to her union, labor relations, and the district superintendent's office, and nothing was done. CBS News Detroit reached out to the Detroit Public Schools Board and superintendent's office, and at this time have not heard anything back. In Detroit, Luke Laster, CBS News Detroit.